What's going on YouTube? We're back at it for another video and today we've got a bit of a special one. Today we're going to teach you how to make it through the Retrieve Essential Personnel mission on the Defend Planetary Missions. The one that is the hardest one and on top of that in Hell Dive difficulty. One that a lot of people have been saying that they need to tune it down and I believe the devs have already tuned it down once. But this is the true story for legends that became Hell Divers. Or dog, you've never been more ready. We're going to get those essential personnel out. Are you ready to take on the hardest mission alongside us and make it as cakewalky as possible? God damn it, War Dog. I love it. I love this energy. All right. Strategy goes as follows. We need two mortars, both of the EMS and regular mortar. We're going to be placing them on the launch pad or landing pad for our shuttle. That way we can take out as much as we possibly can with those. But we'll also need orbital laser, as this is going to help us with clearing out those enemies and making sure that our civilians have the capability of making it to that exit door. That is the utmost importance. We don't need to clear everything. We just need to clear enough room for the civilians to keep continuing making it to that door. And on top of that, we're going to need one person with the expendable rocket or recoilless rocket that stands on the launch pad while all three of us are at each one of the doors, basically opening as much as we possibly can. And the other three are going to have the rail guns so that they can take out each one of the hulks that may be presented in front of us. This is essentially the plan. And with the orbital laser, we're going to be doing them two at a time. But if we get to the point where we're down to the last 10 civilians and we get really, it gets really, f***ing, you know, the hits the fan and it's everywhere. We might hit all orbitals at one time. But effectively, we need to hit them in, I guess, as fast as we can. We basically need to drop them in as soon as the first drop comes in, at least two of us, and then have the other two, so that way we get the timing properly to where we can at least use two of them during the match, if not three, since it's only 15 minutes. All right, boys, are we ready? I'll go one of the second two laser drops. All right. All right. Loving the energy. This has, there's no script in here. All right. Now. We just need to make sure we designate who's the person with the rockets. Do we want me to be the rocket? Or you guys to be the, uh, or somebody else be the rocket? Who wants to sit on the launch pad? The job on the launch pad is effectively Overwatch. Ineffective. And your job will also be to call in the, uh, resupplies. So that we can head over and grab that up in certain instances. Or possibly call in people that need reinforcement. Uncle Crow, greatly appreciate the file. All right, let's get it, boys. And we've got the five essential uh, or additional reinforcements, so no worries on that front. We just got to make sure we're opening those doors as much as possible and trying to make sure that they get in through that exit door. Good God. This is the one, I swear to God, if this crashes. This is it! We've got the right map as well. All the galaxy looks to you for salvation. Let nothing stand Go in the way of sentry. Requesting sentry. Oh. Freedom requires firepower. No! All right, boys, as soon as you got the rail gun, let's hit those doors, start opening them. Every time it's available, we got to get it open. Calling down a support weapon. Drop ships. Dropping first laser on right side. We're already up to 12. Good work, boys. We're up to 12 already. Smooth sails right now. Sixteen. 
17, 18. That's a problem right there. One civilian died. That'll be fine. Two civilians are down. Alright boys, it's getting close to that time where we need to set those sentries up again. Don't forget, we're getting close to that cooldown. Gotta make sure we stay on top of that. I'm heading back to the launch pad now to get ready to drop mine. I think I can open this one up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Yep, that's right on cue. Thirty-five boys, we got this. Reinforcing. Southwest, close. Calling in rear. Thirty-seven. That should be thirty-eight. Oh, uh, he's getting hit pretty hard. He's got the door though. Okay. Had to make sure. One tapped. Oh my god, I don't have... Oh! I'm down. Oh god. Alright, we should be good though. Forty seconds. Ooh. Oh, this is difficult right now. You gotta get in there. Oof. Oof. Not today. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. Get up. Oh, come on. I'm out. All right, we've got to have the laser available. Uh oh, I think we're in a bit of a pickle moment.
Yeah, there's no mortars. That's why we're getting overrun right now. Oh. Oh, God. No, there goes the sentry. All right, boys, we still got seven minutes, though. We might need to uh, walk out out of bounds, basically try to kite them off of the place, and then we can drop in the orbital lasers from the outside because they've overrun right now. That's probably our best bet is to try and pull them off. So effectively, we just got to start pulling them in one direction and clear them out of there and then regain. We got to get those uh, mortars back in. Oh, God. Still on a minute cooldown for that. Alright. Oh my god. There's still that many in here? No! That's not what I went to do! I gotta distract the fire! Ooh. Come on now! No! God damn it! We got four minutes. Okay, hold on. Come on, choose me! Choose me!
Get up, get up, get up! Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. It's just 10 more. Only one of them died. Civilians, go! Go, 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 open the door! Let's get it, let's get it! Guard the last few civilians. Only two more boys. Pile on B2. We are putting these motherfuckers in the ship. God damn it, boys. We got it done. Fucking A team right here. My God. Requesting sentry. Calling down a sentry. Requesting sentry. Unbelievable. Calling in extraction. God damn. No. Oh. Oh my god. Calling in reinforcement. Oh, thank god. I was about to say. I can't believe we got it done. Oh shit, we need him to get up here. I can't believe it. Yep, just hit him in the back. They fell. Nope, but Absolus, we just got it done. God damn, that feels good. Uh oh. This is Pelican One. I have visual on the extraction zone. The mortars might be able to hold. Pelican One landing sequence initiated. Watch where you're standing. <gasps> if we can get all four out of here. Oh no! Pelican One preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. <laughs> oh. As long as the rest of the boys make it. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. Good shit, boys. God damn, that feels good. Don't worry, I'm just paced on that rock over there. But you guys are immortalized.
that's going to be it right there people that's going to be how you make it through the hardest mission now i still have to try to work out a strategy that combines with this stratagem combination working with the team for the other map that is much more open we did end up trying that after this and we had gotten twice up to 50 but it requires a lip little bit more coordination when it comes to being able to kite away the enemies you basically need to do it consistently through the match it, it is very frustrating but i'll have that coming in the future i'll be working on trying to get a plan together for that type of map but by all means i gotta send out another thank you to war dog over here weezer and snowy vivo they absolutely pulled every bit of their own weight and they brought us in for the victory it was outstanding uh, I mean, I've been working at this all night for five hours straight trying to just get this one mission done with a, a random group, and they really brought it together. And every one of them, they waited one by one coming in, and uh, you know, I just can't say enough thanks on that one. It was fantastic. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully this has been something that's a bit helpful. If you'd like to see me do a full breakdown on what I'm trying to get done during the entire match as well, I know there may be some nuances in between that may have seen been a little bit unknown to some people that were just watching it there was more than a few moments where it was basically like i'm utilizing myself to try to draw fire from the enemy while i'm moving next to the civilians it seems as though in certain instances you'll actually be able to walk right along them and the enemies will focus on you instead of them but it's not always going to be 100 percent in that fashion that they will actually react to it but there's more than a few things that i can probably throw in for some tips and uh help for some people out there but really the biggest thing was to just try and get this done because on hell dive difficulty this is the hardest mission that you have and if you were playing it on hell dive and especially if we were trying to get those defend missions done there's a lot of people right now that are farming and effectively every time that you start farming missions for anything else other than completing the full campaign run you're causing losses for the uh, liberation thing so the big thing is just trying to get those big wins out of this. I really was just extremely frustrated that for the longest time, like this is only the second time I've been able to complete this and I've been looking for some type of strategy and a group to get this capably done. And hopefully this small bit of information, this one victory can help more people out there to achieve either victory in some of the lower difficulties, but even at the highest difficulty and really go for that crowning jewel of being able to finish this one off. And it is quite satisfying. It was one of my last things I wanted to do that were last main objectives for me inside of the game, other than just helping some other people to level, getting through that content, and just liberating some of the other planets. This is one of those just ultimate challenges for me, and it feels extremely satisfying to be able to get that done. And arguably, probably one of my favorite missions right now, considering it is so hard and it requires so much strategic coordination with a team and being you know, basically synergetic, synergetic with each other in order to get something like this done. And it just feels good to lay out that plan. It always has a little bit of that RNG to it. So it's never going to be the same, but it's just constant pressure. It's almost exactly what I'd want out of the eradicate missions, but it has a little bit more strategy involved with it other than just place some mortars and just fight some people. And it has I, I usually hate VIP missions, but man, that really does just kind of put the cherry on top right there. And it is a sweet finish to be able to get that done. But on that note, guys, if you'd like to see more of this content in the future, hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to see more of this content live, hit that link down in the description. Follow me over at Twitch. We'll be streaming daily. We've got plenty more to come. And on top of that, have a good one.